Okay, and welcome to another episode of Actualize After Hours. I've got my allies here. I've got Lisa here. I've got Jay here. And today, <laughs> we are potentially going to try playing a game that is a derivative of the game that we played last week. Um, so last week we played Wavelength, and Wavelength is awesome, by the way. This game, it's really sweet. Um, and if you want it, you should you should go buy it. I think I think the Kickstarter is over, but I think it's on Amazon now. Wavelength, it's pretty cool. Um, and basically. Uh, Wavelength, as you guys know, is the game where we split off into teams and we try to give clues or phrases to get people to guess a certain uh, certain area on a semicircle. Um, and there's a derivative of this game called Puppy that I made up. <laughs> it's not a real thing. I made it up um, along with a couple of my friends when we were playing this game. Uh, one of the clues that was given was like a puppy or just puppy. And we had to like figure out on the dial where puppy was on like the, I think that it was, I, if I'm remembering correctly, and this is part of the funniness, is that the card was a scale of um, useful in an emergency versus useless in an emergency. I think that that was the card and the clue given was puppy. And this caused a lot of debate between me and my friends uh, with some of the debate being Oh, a puppy is so useless in an emergency. It's just a burden, right? But other people being like, no, like the puppy will like calm you down and will like get you to think straight. A puppy is like, you know, an emotional, you know, rock for when you are dealing with an emergency. Um, so the variance of where puppy was on useful and useless was quite, quite wide. I think the final answer wound up being that the puppy was totally useless. The clue giver believed that a puppy was useless in an emergency. Um, but this sort of sounds like the you, correct answer. I think it was the correct. I, I kind of agree. I think your puppy is useless in emergency, but this sort of like turned into a thing where the next card was like um, something that's good to sit on versus something that's not good to sit on. And someone was like puppy. <laughs> and uh, so this sort of sparked the idea of puppy being, you know, kind of working the other way around where puppy um, is the, is always the clue. Um, and it is up to us to figure out uh, where, so the, the person, the clue is puppy and uh, the dial, you actually do the other way around where the person sets this piece. So they set where they think the dial should go and the clue is always gonna be puppy. Um, so does that kind of make sense? At least as a concept, I think it's gonna take a, a time or two to get into, um, but that's the concept of the game. I hope game you copyrighted cool. this, Danny. I have not copyrighted <laughs> this. This is new, this is just an idea, but maybe before we post this episode onto YouTube, we will, we will get that patent pending, right. depending on how well this goes. <laughs> um, length, wave, length wave or something. Length wave, <laughs> puppy wave. <laughs> Um, yeah, you could probably play this with like anything, right? Kitten, puppy, I don't know. Um, yeah, any sort of... I think I think we can do a couple practice rounds, but out of curiosity, that means somebody has to move the thing. You've played this online, so how does that work? I've not played it online, no. This was pre-pandemic <laughs> that we did this. So we definitely had the thing. So you guys are just gonna have to, you know, I, don't, I actually don't know how that's gonna work. We can wave our finger. And yeah, you, like you can, you can of, point. I don't know. That's part of the fun, okay? Is that we're gonna figure that out. <laughs> so, so I mean, when you're when you're holding it up in your setup right now, if you're holding it like that, and everybody's closing their eyes except for the clue giver, right? And you're just rotating. You don't know where the thing is, right? If I just said rotate a little bit more, I could just stop right I there. could just go like this, and you could just say stop. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and then I could say a little bit back. And you can say forward. back, and you don't know which way I'm going. I'm going to change it up. Yeah, so you can say right. like and back, nobody else back a couple yeah. clicks, and then I'll be like, you know, like this. Yeah. yeah, I think we could definitely do that as our strategy. I think the first round, like I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, just so that we can try playing the game, and then yeah, I think we can sort of evolve to. I'll put this up, and I'll just rotate it, and you'll just uh, you'll just say stop where you feel like yep. that that should go. And of course, I'll give you a minute to think about it. Um, but yeah, you'll see. Or, or you just keep just rotating like, come on, come on. <laughs> and then you will tell me to stop. So like, if you say stop here, then we put this that'll, that'll be the That'll be the advanced variation. You have five rotations. Five <laughs> so rotations. Just rotate, and you're just going to say stop. And if you if you run out of time, then it just stops wherever it, just it is. It stops randomly, screwed. yeah. And that creates, that creates all the fun. Um, so that's the idea of puppy. 
is that the person actually sets the dial. The clue is puppy and the person sets the dial. So it's just the opposite. Instead of you thinking of a clue to match, um, you always have the clue and it's you picking where on the map that should go, puppy should go. Um, makes sense as a concept? <laughs> Ready to try it? We'll see, we'll give it a couple of rounds and see how it goes. Um, and just like play around with puppy. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll kind of do all the other same processes though. But the only thing that's different is instead of um, thinking of the clue, you're setting the dial. Yeah. So uh, are we doing teams? Uh, do you want to be on a team to do three and three? Um, yeah. So because we, yeah, because we have uh, six total people, I think that it makes sense for me to just be on a team. Um, so Let's do the thing that I love to do. Unless actually, Jay, do you have a way for us to decide teams since I was calling you for that? <laughs> um, length of hair. Ooh, I mean, that one's pretty like, <laughs> pretty straight up. <laughs> that's just gonna be- that, That's guys, girls. Yells, which we could absolutely well, do. That's only because Brian got a haircut. <laughs> right. <laughs> it would have been close earlier this week for sure. It would have been close. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's try that out. Let's try length of hair. Um, so we have long hair versus short hair. Um, and yeah, we'll do that. So long hair team is going to start first just because I have the dial. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and set up the things. So generally speaking, when we set up the game, I have this little like thing here. These little brains that are the markers. And the team that goes first starts at zero, which is us, will be yellow brains. Uh, short hair team will be orange brains and the team that goes second actually starts at one point so that's one point um, and that's usually how the rules go so i'm going to go ahead and pick a card from my giant deck i'm just going to pick one super randomly out of the center um this one this card has nerd versus jock or thrilling versus terrifying Really I'm going to go with terrifying. thrilling versus terrifying. Okay. So nobody has to close their eyes because I'm the clue giver. So now I get to set the dial to where I believe puppy should be on this scale. Dramatic pause. Thrilling versus terrifying. That's right. Thrilling versus terrifying. That's a, that's a strange uh, How dichotomy. Is yeah, they're not necessarily opposites. Right. No, normally it's like hot, cold. A roller like coaster is opposites. both. Could be True. both. Yeah. True. Okay. So I've decided where I believe puppy goes on this scale. And now it will be up to my teammates. Lisa and Amanda to move the dial and have a discussion. The clue is puppy. The clue is <laughs> puppy. <Thank> <laughs> thrilling is orange? Uh, thrilling is orange, yes. Okay. Sorry, okay. that's hard to see. I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You can just tell me to move it <laughs> yeah. towards thrilling okay. or terrifying. Um, I'm going to say like the lower quarter on that right by terrifying. No, nope. wait. But, but wait, maybe call not. Nope, I'm confused. I'm backwards. Don't go by color. Like, is puppy more thrilling or more terrifying? Probably more thrilling, right? But still mildly terrifying. Okay. So, so let's. Babies, you have to like, you're constantly like, Oh no, did he eat garbage? Right? Like, right. Okay, yeah. Actually, I'd, 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 I would go ahead and say babies are actually more terrifying um, than puppies. For sure. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go back towards thrilling. Like, but coming close to the middle. Uh, yeah. Is that too? Maybe a little more thrilling? I'm thinking a little more thrilling, like kind of like split the difference kind of thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, like, a little, little, little back further to the center, a click or two. Yeah. Okay. Let's call that. I like that. Okay. Okay. So, team long hair <laughs> has decided that this is the point of the needle. What does team short hair think 
this way or this way? Big pie slice or little pie slice? Well, I, I, they put it kind of where I would have put it. Like that, that's, that's kind of like, that's kind of, it's clearly you can't say a puppy is terrifying. Like not like, that's not the most terrifying thing in the world, but there were the rationale and where they landed on it. I, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of put it, would have put it right around there. So I'd go mathematical and go bigger, but I don't know if you have any thoughts about whether a puppy is terrifying or thrilling. I'm happy to go with the math. I think a puppy is not terrifying at all. And it's <laughs> on the other side. Wait, wait, wait. So you, what do you mean the other side? They have it as not terrifying. It, it's not on, well, we're picking from oh, the oh, larger, oh, half, oh, yeah, larger gotcha, piece gotcha, and smaller gotcha, piece. Gotcha. So, I'm so saying you, the smaller I mean, like, pieces, yeah. So, so, Going so against you, math. you, you do <laughs> agree with where they put it generally, but you think that should be a little bit more uh, or very much more. But is that what Danny I could see it be like all the way towards thrilling. Because, because a puppy is completely not terrifying? Yeah. Or because... I mean, nobody would look at a puppy and say that's thrilling. That's the most exciting thing. I guess no. I guess I guess people people get excited by puppies. I, I'm 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 okay to be swayed by that, Brian. I'm okay to be swayed by that, Brian. I don't I don't know, Jay, if you have. But what does Danny think about puppies? I love people. Right, right. Amanda. <laughs> Amanda. Amanda brought up like some some interesting you know perspectives. Like no, I don't. I personally would not have thought a puppy is terrifying in any way, shape, or form. But it depends on how you're thinking about it, which is the whole point of this puppy variant. Nobody knows what you mean when you say puppy. Are you talking about taking care of the puppy? Are you talking about how cute the puppy is? It's like that's how that's old is this puppy? Danny, <laughs> it's a Danny, puppy, uh -huh. puppy. Okay, Danny but, only like, has cats. Eight weeks puppy or like? Yeah, I. I guess that's up for interpretation. Eight months puppy. Yeah, yeah. it's different. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm scared. Well, there's Maybe. another game called Eight Months Puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh. then, then there's dog and then there's <laughs> um i i am okay if, if danny's a cat person i'm assuming so what does danny think of puppies yeah i yeah i, I, I could say go either, either way i'm i'm okay with going either way jay you're the you're the decision maker. i'm okay going either way <laughs> all right then let, let's go with brian's it's a little bit more thrilling well we'll know that the math. we'll note that I am never correct when Peter disagrees with me. <laughs> not, I think we should still do it. it. We should still do it, but mm -hmm. just- No, no, I, I'm saying, I'm saying I, it's either way for me. I'm, I'm, I, I'm mm -hmm. telling you, it's like that line is right where, where I would have- The conversation been. has been so much longer <laughs> <laughs> than the team who set the dial. <laughs> <laughs> because they said it, I think at the right spot. <laughs> That's so funny. All right. Um, so we will so we're going more thrilling. You guys have chosen yeah, small, small pie slice. Small pie slice. It's the math. Oh, there nice, we go. Brian. All right. Okay. I think puppies are extremely thrilling. Thrilling. I'm not scary <laughs> at all. Should but, have thought about uh, that because. Do you I own like, shoes? Right. Do I feel you... like Danny doesn't care. <laughs> Right, like, yeah. Whatever, puppy. <laughs> Lots of infighting already. This goes well for us. I, I love puppies, and I think they're amazing. I don't own one, but I own a kitten, and I still think that's thrilling. And this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> and I would still put it in the same place if it was kitten. So that goes to show. I'm an animal person, so I went with thrilling. So that means our team was so close, but no cigar. Um, so team short hair will score one point this time. <laughs> so that's puppy. That's how it works. And you know what? That was like a pretty good conversation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. There was a lot to talk about. It wasn't super straightforward. And this was something I thought was pretty straightforward. Like I was like a puppy is thrilling. And yet there was a lot of discussion surrounding this. So, so yeah. Well, by the time we're done, we're going to, we're going to know everyone's views about puppies. That's true. I might have different yes. views about you as humans by the time that we're done. <laughs> oh, that's that's the next game. Human. Human. <laughs> that one much more controversial. Yeah. Human. Terrifying. Not really <laughs> Terrifying. <not. laughs> no. Okay, so team short hair, you are now going to nominate a psychic. Brian. Oh, that's a new wrinkle. Brian. Great. Brian, you have been nominated. All right. So, Brian, I'm gonna give you your Oh no, I just saw one of the signs. Okay, sign number one, reliable 
versus unreliable. Sorry, it looks like Puppy. one. So no, zoom in. Doesn't want to do it. It's reliable versus unreliable. And the other side, easy to kill versus hard to kill. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the first one. <laughs> oh man. Reliable and unreliable. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Which one's which? Which one's which? Okay, so reliable is the white side and unreliable is the blue side. So now Brian is going to choose the spot on the wheel. So we are all going to close our eyes. I'm going to put this in front of me so I can't see it. Can you see it, Brian? I can't see it. Uh, if you can back it up just to scotch. Uh, so I can see the names. So relatable or reliable is on the right side. Okay, so we can't look either. <laughs> I know. Yeah, no so we're getting there. Brian. Brian I'm moving anything yet. I'm yeah, yeah, you're, you're good. This is perfect. The but wheel, maybe so I can't see it. But maybe uh, rotate it a bunch of times, Danny, because I knew I'm where gonna I was. I'm going to rotate it a whole bunch like that. Yeah, I was going to say I knew too. Yeah. And then now I'm going to start to spin it slowly and Brian's going to tell me when to stop. Cool. I'm going to do one round around just to... Uh, Make it a little bit more random, I suppose. Okay, all right. Any background music? Stop. Mm, mm, go a little bit the other way. Yeah. yeah <laughs> like one, like just like a little bit the, the first way. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So I have no idea where this is, like none at all. And now I think everyone can open their eyes. Yay. That was fun. And that's how you play a physical game online. That was fun for me. And I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> so I'll take it. All right. So the blue side is unreliable. White side is reliable. Okay. Why, why couldn't you have done easy to kill? Like puppies are incredibly easy to kill. They're that's, also not emotionally. They're <laughs> all... Oh, that's true. Hey, that's true. Yeah. There's it's always another layer. There's always another hard. layer. Mm -hmm. Puppies are so unreliable. What are they reliable for? Uh, depends on if you want emotional it. support, <laughs> right? That's the whole. It's the whole puppies useless in emergency, useful in emergency. It's the same. There's multiple perspectives to take there, right? If you're just talking about easy to kill, hard to kill, a puppy doesn't have any self defense. A puppy isn't reliable, right? Like a puppy's not going to do the chores or anything. But <laughs> if you're talking about like why would somebody own a puppy, then why would somebody, why would somebody want such an unreliable thing? Is because it's reliable in a in an emotional way. So it just depends on whether Brian has emotions or not. <laughs> either either, either choice I picked would have been, no, I should just We're show. We're about to answer the question. Does like Brian have friend. emotions or not? This All is right, a really so, important question. So, so I, I don't know if I think the same way as Brian, but my gut instinct was probably the same way as yours, Jay, which is a puppy, like a baby, you know, isn't capable of doing anything. And probably, you know, you have to clean up after it's pee and poo and stuff like that. So you would, I would categorize it as unreliable. That's my It, gut it will reliably poop. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't throw in another wrinkle, Jay. Like that's like 4D, you know what I mean? Chess over there. Like, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I would say, I would say Brian, Brian would categorize a puppy. I don't know if Brian's a dog person. Uh, Brian would categorize a puppy, not a dog, but a puppy on the unreliable side of things. Which one's unreliable? Dark blue? A uh, blue is unreliable, yes. Yeah, so that, and that's what you said, Jay, and I'll, I'll go with that. I wouldn't say the most unreliable thing in the world. So somewhere in that quarter mark is, is, is where I would probably put it, but I'm not, I'm not confident because this game is very hard. Because if you think about it from the other perspective, it's literally the opposite answer. <laughs> so. I would go a smidge even more unreliable. Yeah. Okay, I'm good with that. We took up a lot of time last time, so and I, I, and this game is funny because it could literally be the completely opposite direction. That's why puppy's good. Puppy is puppy is reliably yep. unreliable. Um. Okay, we get to discuss how reliable we believe puppy is. I'm good with going with the math. You want to do the math? Lisa Lisa. looks like she wants to do something different. Well, I'm thinking about the fact that apparently Peter and I are on the same 
uh, wavelength, wavelength, so to speak, <laughs> today, where we're like, oh no, we agree with where we where each other put it. Um, uh, also, I believe Brian is a lemon tree person is, and not a puppy person, if I remember correctly. Wait, um, lemon tree. Yeah, I don't know what that means either. Hmm? What is a lemon tree person? <laughs> uh, non non pet person. <laughs> Oh, like they own a lemon tree and not a dog. Right. Like, like they, they don't want to answer the question, how easy is it to kill a puppy? So they literally avoided that card because they don't <laughs> like, you know, animals that much. And they didn't, they didn't want to expose that. Because he that was worried was he would strategy. expose how easy he <laughs> thought it was to kill a puppy. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> bad. I would have. It's so good. <laughs> I also <laughs> think that Brian would put it even more unreliable. <laughs> I believe that. I'm willing, I am happy to go small pie slice on this one. I think the, the only case for reliability in a puppy is sort of reliable in, in their unreliability. So I would be okay with small pie slice too. All right. We can go small pie slice. I'm fine All right. Amanda hesitantly. I like, I like, yeah, I like Amanda's sort of voice there. When, when, when it goes the other way, she's going to be like, Okay. Okay. I told you. <laughs> She's waiting, waiting for it. To, waiting for the reveal. Right, Either way, not see, numbered. So, if Brian and Amanda are on the same wavelength, it, oh my oh. god! Oh. Oh. Wow. Well, there's no way we could have scored any points. Right, so that should make right. us feel a little bit better. Wow. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you guys hit the four. That's insane. <laughs> Brian, that was, that was Jay. That was Jay. Brian, mm -hmm. what level of reliability does it have? Exactly that amount. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you want to be mathematical about it, it's it's a four. The four. <laughs> that was good. That was on target. Wow. Yeah, that was all Jay. Jay was like, mm -hmm. nice. more, yeah. Jay was like, I personally more. would have made it a hundred percent unreliable. But <laughs> okay. So you Jay gave a little bit of credit. Same wavelength as a lot for yeah. Poppy. All right. You, you may have given uh, Brian a little bit more credit for his humanity. His humanity. Yeah, he has more humanity. Brian has this, <laughs> this much emotion. <laughs> 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 so this is really a wavelength of your empathy mm -hmm. is, is what, what this game is revealing. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was good. That was really good. Wow. Okay. So Team Short Hair is at six points and Team Long Hair is at zero. We got some ground to make up, y'all. So they got a point though. Why didn't we get a point? Hmm? They started with a point. Why didn't we get like a, we went a random? First. So it's the first team to get to 10 wins. Gotcha. And because we go first, they get a starting point. Fine. That's how the game works. What do you want? She wants us to do She doesn't like that we're playing puppy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nobody cares about your feelings, Shutter. All right. <laughs> we've had it, we've had a rough week. <laughs> so who would like to volunteer, Lisa or Amanda? Who's feeling like they can carry us to victory? <laughs> no Apparently pressure. me. <laughs> <laughs> What's my card? Um, okay, so your card, Lisa, is... Wait, this one's crazy. This one's weird. This is an advanced one, so I apologize. Illegal versus prohibited. <laughs> maybe like frowned upon versus like actually illegal and then <laughs> art versus not art <laughs> uh okay let's go with art versus not art okay art to not art the clue <laughs> is puppy <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, I'm going to put this okay. in a place where, okay, I'm going to make sure that Lisa can yep. see it. You can see that. Which side right? is, uh, not art is green, correct? Not art is green, yeah. And okay. Art is red. Okay, okay. So now I can't see it. So now I'm going to go ahead and go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. And now uh, you're going to tell me where to go or when to stop. Uh, other direction. Stop. Wait. Back a little bit. Just a little bit. One more. 
Let's try that. Feel good? Sure. Okay. It's closed. Okay, you can look now. All right, Amanda. <laughs> is puppy puppies, art? Puppies are obviously it, art. Puppy is obviously art? I think Lisa is of the kind of human that believes puppies are art. Yeah. <laughs> I would also believe that maybe puppies are a little art versus not art. Like right. if I had to say art or not art, I would say art. maybe more art. So we're, we're sticking to this half of the quadrant. Okay. okay. So now the question the clue, is where? The clues are art and not art. That's the Art clue. and not art. So how Strange. art okay. are puppies? In <laughs> how art, art is puppy or how not art is puppy? Puppy, puppy is like, not super art. I would say like, yeah, too art. Like maybe even less art. I don't know. I don't know if I'd go too much less art than that. You think that you want to go more art? <laughs> I think I'm comfortable with this level of art. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we think puppy is a bit art, but not super art. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yes. Yeah. I'm kind of having a similar reaction to like the way that I feel like Lisa was, which is like, sure. <laughs> this one's hard. Puppies are not like Van Gogh, but like buying <laughs> prints at the home goods store. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Oh God, yeah. I yeah, I'm gonna agree with that statement in its entirety. Okay, I think we're good with this amount of art. So team short here, you get to decide. Big pie would, slice or little pie slice. I would go for big pie slice here. <laughs> I think a puppy art. could easily be not art. Yeah. I mean, is art defined by something created by a human? I like, I like this question. I like this question because we're not no longer debating puppy. We're debating, <laughs> what is art? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen those like, shirts that are like, but is it art? <laughs> it's an advanced it's like, card. Literally okay. It That's is an it. advanced card. All right, all right. Um, what were you going to say, Brian? Big pie slice. Interesting. I would have gone smaller pie slice. I, 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 the dog it, is more art than this much. Yeah. I mean, not me, me, if you're asking me, I would have put it as, I mean, I would put it on the art side, but barely. That's, that's what I would do. But I'm not a puppy person. Like puppies are cute, but like, they don't make my heart melt. You know what I mean? So it's just, it really depends on how you define art. Okay, so Peter's heartless. Art yes. is Dave? defined as something that makes your heart melt. Right, and I'm asking you, how do you define art versus how does Lisa define art, right? It depends on what you, Right, it's a Van Gogh. I'm not, like I'm not an art snob, so you know what I mean. Like so, so I'm oh, totally okay with going with the math, and so I'm I'm just I'm just voicing the possibility. I have zero confidence in this version of wavelength. I'm just letting you guys know that you know what I mean. Like I, I have some level of confidence in the in the, the the real version of wavelength, but this I just it can be I could be wildly off. So I'm go I'm good with going with the math, but I feel like it's a little bit more art from Lisa's perspective. That's all. Not a lot more. A little bit more. That's my that's why. Are you swayed, Brian, by that? I think Peter made a persuasive argument that he's not good at this version. <laughs> so we shouldn't listen to it. Okay. Big pie I'm slice. I'm good with that. Huh? Big pie with slice that. for Team Short here, then, yes? I think Lisa's not a lemon tree person, and we're about to see that. Oh, <laughs> All right. So. <gasps> <laughs> oh, we got destroyed. Okay, puppy is super not art. Wow. I had a, an image pop into my head of like puppy literally getting into paint and like pawing around. And I'm like, like that's <laughs> so not, not art, but like I wasn't making art. Yes. And how art good is. that art would be. <laughs> right. I was like, it's not not art, but it wasn't, it didn't scream art to me. So, and I'm neither a lemon tree person nor a puppy person. I am a full-fledged cat person. <laughs> mm. Okay. 
Puppy is learn. not art, according to Lisa and Team Short Hair Squad. Yeah, another point. They're at seven, so we have to play defense now, y'all. So this is interesting. The more you play puppy, the more you know about how people feel about puppies and the game becomes super meta after, after you know, like, you know, after the first round of like, now I know your puppy Now stands. I know that you hate puppies. Now right. I know how to answer this. Now I know that okay. you believe puppies are easy to kill. <laughs> we'll see. Um, okay. So it is now Team Short Air turn to go. So nominate your psychic. Is it me or Jay? Is that right? We probably should not have Peter be the psychic. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh no. I, I think, just picked I, the worst possible card that I could for them. So Peter will be the psychic. Point. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool with that. Peter's the psychic. Okay. Yeah. First side. Bad habit versus good habit. Bad habit. Good and habit. the other side. Dog person versus cat. <laughs> <laughs> all right for the sake of not crushing it i'm not gonna pick dog person versus cat person but wow. is a dog a dog person <laughs> i don't know maybe a dog is a cat person <laughs> maybe puppy likes cats i've seen those cute videos on the internet okay so so the other one was what good habit versus bad habit so Bad habits puppy, the darker good color. habit bad or is habit. puppy bad habit? <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll do that one. But, Ready but, you know. This is we'll, a, it's a mercy we'll kill. Is what yeah, it is. you can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up and I'm going to make sure that Peter can see it. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to. Okay. So now, Peter, you're going to tell me when to stop. Slow down. You can stop right there. Wait, go back a little bit. Stop right there. Let me think. I need to, I need to absorb. Bad habit, good habit, bad habit, good habit. You know what? Pull it back a little bit more. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Close it up. Close it up. Thank <laughs> you. All right, it's closed. Open kidding. your eyes. <laughs> I got to see Peter's face. Cat person, dog person. While he was yeah. doing that, and it was like it was just like. <laughs> it was good. All right, so you have bad habit versus good habit. Good habit in pink. Bad habit in green. So it is now Team Short Hair to decide, is puppy good habit or bad habit? I don't know what puppies have to do with bad habits, but I certainly don't know what they have to do with good habits. So I would lean towards bad habit. I think you're, you're incorrect. So explain. I think, I think I would interpret it as like, is owning a pup, oh, does the puppy itself have good habits or bad habits versus is owning a puppy a good habit or a bad habit? So we have to guess what Peter means by that. What had in mind? <clears throat> That's interesting. Hmm. Or is it just a bad habit to get a puppy? You think it's does the puppy itself have good habits puppy. or bad habits? I don't, you know, I, I'm, I'm honestly not sure. I hadn't even considered that, but it seems quite reasonable. I don't know. This is, this is maybe the toughest one. Should have gone with cat person, dog person. <laughs> I, I have no idea. Okay, so I don't really have a needle point for no idea. Well, let's go, <laughs> I, I would, I would, <laughs> I would, well, I would say it's about the puppy I guess itself. no idea would be here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think. I think if we if we go with the puppy itself, we can go maybe like. I guess it would be pretty far towards bad habit. 
We can go smack in the middle and make it hard for the other team to guess. <laughs> Yeah, if we get a... It's not a winning strategy, Jay. <laughs> let's let's get ahead, zero so points. Playing neutral, <laughs> playing neutral actually might be a good strategy just because of how far ahead you guys are. We get it. I mean, don't we have seven, though? You have seven points. Yeah, so you could win. If we get lucky, the game's over, though. Right? Listen, Doesn't it go to 10? It goes to 10, yeah. So if you can score three or four points, you actually win right now. But it's not going to be in the middle truthfully right Seems it's going to be one or the other right so we just let's just pick one 50 yeah. 50 and then we're gonna yeah i mean Brian, what do you say let's go let's go puppies have bad habits so we can go two-thirds of the way towards the green one yeah maybe like more than that even yeah once yeah, well, we're gonna double down. once we're picking that side yeah yeah we'll double down on that side more or less, or is this good? I'm good with that. I think that's good. Okay. So they think puppy is pretty bad habit. <laughs> what do we think puppy is? Big pie slice. I think that, yes, that's how I feel about puppies, but I feel like Peter feels the opposite. He was talking about how easy it is to kill puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. This is a small pie, small pie slice game. Small pie slice. He's saying he thinks it's a bad habit. <laughs> okay, so Lisa wants to go with math. Amanda wants to get inside of Peter's brain. It's and... scary in here. <laughs> I just want to go on record. I've never killed a puppy before. Like it's, so I don't know how <laughs> easy it is. Here. Do you want to try? <laughs> you don't know, but you just imagine it. Right, right. I imagine it all the time. I've just never it. done it. He only pictures puppy on the regular. He doesn't actually perform it. Only when I play wavelength. Puppies, I got, I got to go with math on this one because it's just too ambiguous. I'm gonna go with math. Big pie. Let's go with math. Okay. Sorry, Amanda. It's fine. The last time we were split like this, they were like right on the numbers. So that's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. All right. Getting strong deja vu. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> I was all excited that we got it right, but they won. <laughs> oh. oh. It's a three, which is exactly as many points as they needed to win. It, incidentally, Amanda, you know, I guess has my number. I would have said, you know, bad habit, but I didn't want to seem inhumane. So anybody, anybody who puts something all the way at the end is clearly like, like a bad person. Face. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, but I mean, but I mean, it would have been around there. That's where I was making those faces. I was like, I, I don't know if anybody owned a puppy. You know what I mean? Compared to like a cat, I assume a kitten. Puppies, you know, like potty training, all that kind of stuff. Like I've seen puppies on a rampage. You know, like I've seen, I've seen some bad things. And cats are a little bit more, you know, a little more That's hy a bad hygienic, habit. I guess. Like, and I yeah. own cats, and I would put a cat here. <laughs> but we're all saying that it's the animal that has the bad habit. That's how you're interpreting I think, the card. I think that Correct. Now that you're about it in this way, yeah. Yeah. When you when you were discussing it, Brian and Jay, like you were discussing it correctly. Like I was thinking about it from the perspective of like, what is yeah. it like to own I a think puppy, the and the clue, puppy has habits. In the way that we like defined the game originally, the clue is like a puppy. Um. So you can kind of interpret that how you want to, but like a puppy, yeah. Yeah. What's interesting is most of the cards we picked were pretty polarizing. There are certain cards where it's like hot and cold. It'd be like, where do you put a puppy there? It's clearly a warm blooded creature, but it's not extremely hot or extremely cold, nor does it say anything <laughs> about the humanity of the puppy to, to, to vote one way or the other. You know what I mean? Like, That's true. We haven't hit any like really ambiguous cards. Um, so, for the sake of everyone getting a chance to actually do the puppy mind reading, I think we get we have a little more time so we could try to squeeze Amanda and Jay in there. Mm -hmm. I was hoping yeah, to get off scot free, but okay, let's, see, let's have Amanda. <laughs> we, do we can do we can we'll do see. lightning rounds. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, timed rounds for talking. Okay. No, I'm so sorry, it, Amanda. Is it or is it, oh, yeah, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> useless invention versus useful invention. 
now you're a god. Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> Liberal versus conservative. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> okay. Obviously, we have to go with useful versus not useful. I can't consider a puppy's political stance. In a you can consider time. you can consider who owns a puppy, but then it would well, be right in the middle because it's either or, puppies. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly, there are all sorts of puppies, right? Puppies on both sides. <laughs> There's puppies on both sides. I call for all puppies to come together. Puppy unity. Right, so you're 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 going for what what clue is it? Uh... So it's useful invention versus useless invention. Okay. And I guess technically, considering the domestication process, that dogs are an invention. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, so, which side, which, sorry. Uh, useless on blue side, useful on pink side. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm going to put this in a place where it's easy for you to see. Can you read that okay? Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right. And I'm going to hide my face, bring that open twirl it around a whole bunch all right and then you're gonna tell me where to stop uh stop uh go back a little mm, mm, tiny bit more yeah okay that that feels good okay we're closed you can avert, stop averting your eyes, I suppose. Okay, Lisa, is a puppy a useless or a useful invention? Useful, obviously. I agree that <laughs> should be on the useful side. This is, this kind of is like back to the original, the original thing that I dealt with well over a year ago, which is like useful in an emergency. This is just useful or useless. Mm -hmm. So, I suppose I think I think that you have less of a qualifier though here, right? In an emergency, that's way more polarizing. It's just puppy is just like a useful thing. I mean, mm -hmm. dogs are very useful for lots of reasons. Mm -hmm. so I would say that because you have to get through the puppy stage to be a dog, that a dog is super useful. So I would be willing to go like very far on the useful side. Okay. I mean, on the one hand, like there is a wide range of things that both a dog and a puppy are useful for. And yet there are other things that are maybe more useful. Like a computer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean the ones that we use to teach people how to code? <laughs> the ones that we use at Actualize Coding Boot Camp. Wait, you guys are using computers? I've been using puppies. <laughs> Then you got to move it more useful. It's clearly, clearly. Right. Then, we're, then we're smacked out of bottom. Um, uh, yeah, I agree. So like okay. a puppy is a useful invention, but it's not the most useful invention. Right. I feel like there, there are things. Because, because of the game that we're playing, right? If it was regular mm -hmm. wavelength and she said a puppy, I would be like, like here. But right. because we have no other point of comparison, we're just deciding if a puppy is useful or not useful. That mm -hmm. leads me to want to go farther to useful. But I will accept an argument or a case for otherwise. Yeah, because I mean, it like individual, useful for an individual person, useful for society at large. Um, like I, I kind of want to go push it back just, just a little less useful yeah i'm good with that okay yeah i'm good with that i'm good with this too i think this is a fair compromise pretty useful okay. but not the most useful thing ever right okay team short hair i mean i'm, I'm good with the math i personally yeah. if i were answering this question i would say like a baby mathematically by definition is useless and that's why they need parents to you know raise An them invention peter right, right 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 you know what i mean but i'm just saying mm -hmm. so but but uh, so I, that's why I would have put it a little bit more useless. But, uh, you know, yeah. I, I agree with what uh, Danny and Lisa, I, I agree with their, their logic. And I, I definitely would not put a puppy on the useless side of the spectrum, right? Like, but, you know, if you're talking about puppies versus dogs, those are two different things, but yeah. 
but yeah, I, I think it's I think it's good where it is. So I'm I'm good with going with the math, but yeah, me too. Brian, what do you think? I I generally agree. I'm just concerned that, uh, <laughs> with the Brian Peter, but we can Amanda do Amanda has emotions. <laughs> right, right, right. You you got to think in terms right. of Amanda, who would never kill a puppy, which is horrified by the thought of it. So. That, isn't that most people like, are, <laughs> would never kill a puppy and are horrified by the thought of it? Like I we don't know that. We don't know that. Amanda, yeah, Amanda stood up for the puppy. Nobody else said anything. Nobody else said anything. So we don't know that about everybody. We only know that about Amanda. I would like to make a public stance. <laughs> like, horrified by the thought of killing a puppy. And do it. Mm -hmm. and I want that to live on as my legacy as a human being. Yeah, I'm not alone on that side. <laughs> no. Yeah, you could tell me where to sign for that also. <laughs> so are you guys going with math here or are you going with small yeah. place? I'm I hearing lots of oh, I'll, I'll defer. I'll, I think we're going I'll, with I'll, math, right? No, Brian Let's doesn't think so, but but we'll go with math. I, I just think we should not do whatever Peter says. <laughs> okay, that, okay, okay, that's it. That's it. I agree with Brian. It's on the it's on the small side. <laughs> it's on the okay. small pie. Let's go. Small pot. Okay. Now you're really putting them in the bind here, Peter. <laughs> no, no, I, I only went with math because I'm not sure. I've, I've yeah, made that clear. How do we escape this infinite loop where Peter yeah. agrees with Brian, but Brian disagrees with everything Peter says? No, 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 no. Small slice, period. Small slice, Final slice great. Small slice. Okay, so we are going with small slice. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay, so Jay's agreeing to that too. Okay, so, okay. I, even if I didn't, I'm outvoted. <gasps> Oh, okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is that three points or is it two? Hold on, I have to look straight at it. I think it's two. Mm -hmm. It's two, yeah. Yeah, it looks, it yeah. looks like two. There you go. There we have it. Um, two points for Team Long here and zero points for Team Shore here. They can come back on the game that we already lost. Which means we are on the board. That's actually our very first point that we've scored. <laughs> so well done to team never considered murdering a puppy. Oops, we'll, we'll divide the teams by that way next That's time. our new yeah. official rebranding is our team is team never considered murdering a puppy. Um, all right, I'm assuming Jay has to go. Would you have yeah, to? I think, because, yeah. yeah, I think we all do, right? Yeah, Most I have to get ready us. for my class. Mm -hmm. Gotta get ready for classes. I'm so sorry, Jay. Jay did not get to play puppy. Oh, I'm so sorry too. Maybe next time. Maybe. <laughs> no, 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 no. Definitely next time. Even yes. if we're not playing wavelength next time, we're gonna whip out wavelength for one, one round. round oh, one round do, of puppy. Yeah, <laughs> one round of puppy. The warm up round yeah. of puppy to get yeah. into the spirit of what we're playing. Next. Sure, that sounds good. Um, okay. thank you guys very much for playing puppy with me and trying out this new game concept. It was definitely polarizing and very difficult to predict, <laughs> which is what I expected. That went pretty well, actually. Um, okay. Thanks all for playing. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next time where we play another weird thing. Who knows what it'll be. Kitty. <laughs>